In this tutorial, you learn how to use the Front Face Assistant to create a digital signage project, compile multimedia content into playlists, and how to display the content on the screen of the player PC. The Front Face software consists of two components, the player app and the assistant. The player app is installed on a so-called player PC which is connected to the actual screen for displaying the content. The Assistant can be installed on one or more workstation PCs and is used to create and maintain the content. It also lets you manage the player PCs. The deployment of the content and the configuration from the Assistant to the Player app can be done via a local network share, a file server, via a cloud storage service, or also offline using a USB thumb drive. On your workstation PC, execute the front face installation package that you've downloaded. Select the installation type, full installation including assistant, and follow the installation steps. By default, the Print to Screen Printer Driver is installed as well, which allows you to import content from any Windows application that has a print function. After the installation process is complete, launch the Front Face Assistant, either directly after installation or at any time, using the corresponding shortcut in the Windows Start menu. FrontFace organizes all settings and the content into so-called projects. On the home page of the Assistant, you can open existing projects or create a new one. In addition to that, the home page gives you access to the user manual, the included sample projects, and other online help resources. First, create a new project. Give the project a name and select a suitable location where to store your project. Make sure that the project type Digital Signage is selected. As in this example, the focus is on classic, non-interactive digital signage applications. If you're interested in creating interactive touchscreen applications with FrontFace, please check out the video tutorial about the interactive functionality of FrontFace. On the left side, you see the main menu of the Assistant with the menu sections Home, Players, Contents, Scheduling, and Publish. The Players section lets you manage your player PCs. One player PC is already created, as well as a screen. You can also use Front Face to control multiple screens on a single player PC. Simply add more screens in this case. You can also add additional player PCs at any time as well. The most important setting of each player PC is the publishing method. Here you determine how your contents and settings will be transferred to the player PC during the publishing process. If you've already set up a separate player PC on your local network and have installed the Front Face Player app on it, select Direct to Player as the publishing method. Specify the UNC path to the publishing folder of your player PC as Publishing target. Usually, this is backslash, backslash, name or IP address of the player, backslash, front face. Now that you've set up your infrastructure, it's time to create some content. We head over to the content section where the content is organized in the form of so-called playlists. A playlist is a sequence of screen pages on which the actual contents, such as pictures or videos, are being displayed. A playlist always has a so-called screen layout. The screen layout remains the same for the entire playback duration of the playlist and is used to show fixed elements, such as a scrolling news ticker. We select a suitable layout here. In the main container of the layout, the pages of the playlist will be displayed later. If there are any more containers, you can fill them with content or adjust the preset content elements. In the context of Front Face, the actual content elements are referred to as media objects. 
You can also set the default page display duration for pages and the default transition effect. Now let's add a few pages to the playlist. Again, you can choose a layout here, this time the so-called page layout. This is used to partition the screen for displaying multiple media objects on a single page. You can also set the display duration and the transition effect for this specific page. We've selected a layout with two containers here, which can now be filled with content. To do so, click on the plus icon, which identifies an empty container. There's a wide range of supported media object types available, such as pictures, text, PDFs, videos, websites, and much more. We first add a video. In the settings dialog of each media object, you have different options. Among other things, you can use the stretch option to specify how content is to be fitted into the container. In the second container, we insert the weather media object, which is included in the standard feature set of front face. Using the location search, we determine the location for which the weather information should be displayed. To control what a playlist page will look like later on the screen, you can always click on the page preview button to watch a preview. Here you can see how the page that we just created would be displayed on the actual screen of the player PC. Let's add another page to the playlist. A very interesting media object type is the slideshow. This allows for displaying simple photos dynamically zoomed, panned, and blended into each other using the motion zoom effect, resulting in a vivid impression on the screen. Next, we'll add a print-to-screen media object to the second container. You can do this with any Windows application that has a print function. Create your content as usual. And print it out on the front face print-to-screen printer. As soon as the printout is completed, a dialog appears in the assistant in which you can specify whether the printout should be used as new content or whether you want to update an existing printout in your project. Here we show a recently created printout as new content. As before, you can also use the preview function of this page. Alternatively, you can also preview the entire playlist. Then you see all pages in chronological order, including the configured timing and transition effects. With the help of the many different media object types and the provided layouts, you can easily create visually appealing playlists. By the way, you can also use the integrated layout editor to create your own custom layouts or to adapt existing layouts to your needs. The content in the form of playlists is always created by FrontFace independently of player PCs and screens. Therefore, in the scheduling section, the playlists are assigned to the screens for playback. In the simplest case, this is a direct assignment. This means that the selected playlist will be permanently displayed on the screen. Alternatively, the advanced scheduling feature can be used to compose comprehensive scheduling. Using so-called timers, which also support complex repetition patterns, playlists can be displayed in a time-controlled manner. The Preview tab gives you a clear overview of when the particular playlist will run on the screen. In addition to the timer-based control, there's also an event-based control with which external events can trigger the start of a playlist. An example for such an event is an appointment in an external exchange calendar that becomes due. Now that the player and screen have been set up, a playlist with content has been created. 
and the playlist has been assigned to the screen in the scheduling section. Next, the final step to take is to deploy the content and control information to the player app. By clicking on the Publish button, the Assistant starts to compile the contents and transfers them to the player PC. When the publishing process is complete, the player app displays the content as configured. In order to instantly check what is appearing on your screen, there is player status monitoring available in the Players section. Depending on the publishing method used, you can retrieve the current screen content of the player and view the log file of the player app. To learn how to install and configure the Front Face Player app to play your content on a player PC, check out the tutorial video about the Front Face Player app.